it's 1960. John Kennedy, Senator Kennedy, is running for president. I'm a 12-year-old in Dublin, Ireland, running around the streets. Most homes didn't have televisions at the time, but those homes that did uh, on certain nights when the BBC would be covering the election, uh, people would huddle in, in my case, into my cousin's uh, home, uh, dozens of us, uh, watching Kennedy, if you will, on parade on, on his campaign. Uh, he just swept the entire island of Ireland, and that's, that's understandable. An Irish Catholic, one of our own, uh, maybe president of America. And you have to understand uh, Ireland or Europe, uh, as they related to America, to the United States back in the 50s, this was the, the, the great power. It was, it was idolized, and that's not too strong a term. And so the whole notion of having an Irish Catholic as the president of the great United States of America just seemed an impossible dream. And of course, it wasn't. Uh, he went on to become the new president, and the whole of Ireland uh, rejoiced. It was just a fantastic, fantastic uh, feeling in the country. And then six months later, here I was in New York City as a 13-year-old, new immigrant, new arrival, uh, watching Kennedy uh, almost on a weekly basis given his very witty press conferences, uh, which were which were fun. They, actually, they, were, they may have been the most fun television uh, at the time. They were better than any sitcom. Uh, he had this quick wit, and uh, it's just just a kind of a remarkable individual. What, what President Kennedy did for, for kids like me in the 60s was the whole notion of, he kind of epitomized the American dream, the whole notion of this, this vast, uh, possibilities out there and that really all you had to do was work hard, study hard and you know he was living proof that nothing could stop you if you had the will, uh, the wit, <laughs> if you had the brains, if you had the initiative, the hard work, the, the, the good ethic, that you could achieve anything in America. Uh, he was, uh, he really epitomized what America is all about.